a compromise amongst Democrats in the Merrigan, Mer Merrigan in the Maryland House of Delegates has led to a historic outcome. Here's what's going on. Delegate Adrian Jones is now the first woman and first black woman in the state's history to serve as House Speaker. And it all happened Wednesday afternoon. Well, this is when it all started. So the state's House Democratic Caucus voted 58 to 40 to nominate Baltimore City Delegate Maggie McIntosh, a liberal gay woman, over Delegate Derek Davis, a black moderate from Prince George's County for the top legislative post. But soon after the vote, House Minority Leader Nicholas Kipke announced that all 42 of the chamber's Republicans would back Davis in a floor vote. So McIntosh knew she didn't have the votes to win a majority of Democrats and Republicans. So during a private House Democratic caucus meeting, after the caucus vote, McIntosh actually agreed to drop out, according to a lawmaker who was present. She then instructed the caucus to stay in the room until they could back a candidate who could get the 71 votes needed for a majority on the House floor and suggested that the woman, the person be a woman from the Legislative Black Caucus. So the caucus agreed on Jones. And the outcome actually averts a situation that critics feared would thwart the majority will and undermine liberal priorities by making the Democratic speaker indebted to the GOP minority. And here's a quote here from Delegate Ben Barnes. I'm happy we came together as a caucus and did not allow the Republicans to drive the narrative, drive a wedge between our party or dictate the outcome of our speaker. We just could not accept the precedent of Republicans intervening in our process. So this is a really interesting story and, and that twist where McIntosh um, falls on her sword is amazing. Mm -hmm. So uh, we actually were covering this story uh, on Rebel HQ. So we've got a lot of different channels and uh, this is the one that Emma Viglin is on. She just broke the story about how Biden was over the top complimentary of, Joe, uh, uh, of Dick Cheney. So you can see that on that channel too. But on facebook.com slash Rebel HQ, Emma, did, Emma and, and Gina did a story about how uh, and they laid it out in clear stark terms and, and I believe the people in Maryland did see it. So if they had any effect on it, I, I'm thrilled about that. Um, where they showed, well, this Derek Davis, if he gets elected as speaker, it would be obviously because of the Republicans. He's joining the Republicans uh, to do this. So if anybody knows politics, it's not like he's gonna turn around and go, then I don't care what you think. Right. No, he is indebted to them. So then in a in a chamber that is, Two thirds Democrats, they would be controlled by Republicans. That's unbelievable. See, and, and that's what drives us crazy about the Democratic Party. No Republican would work with Democrats in this current environment to take a Republican legislator, legislature, and flip it over to a Democratic one. It just wouldn't happen. It doesn't happen anywhere, right? <laughs> Let alone one in, in like in a deeply red state like Alabama. Imagine it's two thirds Republicans. And they decide, no, we're gonna work with the Democrats and do a bunch of liberal things instead. Inconceivable, but the Democrats do it all the time. Why? Because the donors drive the process. So they think, well, I do actually, I secretly kind of agree with a lot of the things you say, you know, whether it's tax cuts, etc. Look, I'm not putting anything on Davis, and it's not personal because a lot of people step up and go, oh my God, no, Derek Davis is a good guy. It isn't about a good guy or a bad guy. I don't know Derek Davis from from anyone, from Adam, right? It's about why would you want to work with Republicans on their policies and their priorities when you've got a massively Democratic House here for personal power and 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 obviously all the other things that we discussed. So McIntosh is set to win. Derek Davis throws this curveball. The Republicans throw this curveball. If I was her. I probably wouldn't have been as good a person. I don't know that it would have even occurred to me. I would have been like, hey, look, I got the majority, well, let's go. And, and I would have fought. But McIntyre said, no, I'll step down. But it can't be this, because we can't let the Republicans run this house. So then it's amazing, yeah. it is, and then they go, okay. Then she says, then let's pick an African American woman, okay? We've never had an African American lead this state. But we're not gonna have one that doesn't deal with the Republicans. And then, you know what that is? It's what we say on the show all the time. And I got the line from a TV show, to be honest. But it's, it's in that show, the donors said, continuity on the outside, I'm sorry, change on the outside, continuity on the inside, mm -hmm. right? And so, but Adrian Jones is not continu continuity uh, on the inside. So she's a progressive Democrat. And so 
McIntosh is not only wonderfully progressive, but in a lot of ways a hero for doing this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, Jones stepped down to support her, and then it ended up flipping. Like I don't know, this was just a magical story for me to yeah. watch. And, mm -hmm. You know how yeah. evil and sneaky it was that they, you know, like hey, we like this moderate guy. There's a reason that they were willing to work with him. There was a reason that they liked him, and. Just totally going to throw away the work that had been done. A hundred percent, Brooke, because nine out of ten times we've covered these stories like this, unfortunately, for a long time on the Young Turks. That maneuver works. And then the mm -hmm. Republicans own the legislature and they already have a Republican governor for no reason in Maryland. So all of a sudden you have a blue state totally run by Republicans, even though it's massively Democratic. Right. That happens all the time, right? But <laughs> you know what McIntosh said? Not, Not today. today. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Not today. Not today. <laughs> so we've got a powerful African American woman, Adrian Jones, new Speaker of the House of Maryland, and uh, and one that actually believes in progressive priorities. So that's how we stick together. That's how we fight together. That's how we win together. On the go? Don't worry, we got you covered. You can still listen to TYT at our new podcast network. Find us on Apple Podcasts, the Google Play Store, or at tyt.com/podcast.